Let's talk about the five top ways to prevent the flu. We're in the flu season now, and I know people have been ending up in the hospital with pneumonia. So this is important. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor, going on 36 years now. Let's get the World Health Aid 1300 videos here for you to peruse and get healthy with. Please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe. The flu season is here. And we know people who, you know, have come down with the flu and even came down with pneumonia after that. So we really need to you know, arm ourselves with what we can to prevent coming down with the flu. And here we go. Number one, take your vitamin C. Absolutely, positively. I recommend 3,000 milligrams in the morning. And if you feel like, you know, a little something in your throat or nose, take another 3,000 in the evening. And whatever you have that little, you know, feeling. If new studies with vitamin C show it really does work. Absolutely. And I have friends who do scientific research with vitamin C. And they have thousands of scientific articles showing it works. The second one, black elderberry or Sambuca. Scientific studies show it does help to prevent and get over the flu. It really is amazing stuff and lots and lots of studies about it. If you click on show more and sh see all these studies I have listed down below, it's important. So take 2000 milligrams of black elderberry every day. Another thing is you gotta have your sleep. If you don't have sleep, you don't have a good immune system going on, you need that eight hours and 15 minutes every night, which will allow you to get good quality sleep and enough sleep that you'll get in and end up with, you know, the REM sleep and the deep sleep, which is very important for a powerful immune system to keep away the flu. Number four, you gotta have also moderate exercise. This is really important, you know, walking. I walk 20,000 steps every day. You know, I'm not talking about, you know, becoming an Iron Man you know, <laughs> and really pushing it hard. That really kind of tips the immune system in the other direction. But we really need to have exercise to boost up our immune system so we have the antibodies and killer cells and T cells doing their thing. And exercise is very important even for, for people with cancer. So keep your exercise going. Number five, keep your stress under control. Stress will lower your immune system and we have thousands of studies showing that absolutely positively and we need to keep that under control. You know, it's like, you know, the lion chasing you and you're climbing the tree, you know, your immune system is going down like this, <laughs> just dropping. And we really need to keep that stress under control. How do we do that? Being mindful, you know, being learn mindful meditation and just doing meditation in general. I do two hours of meditation every day. It's really important to keep us grounded and keep our immune system running in tip top shape. Well, there's a lot more things I could cover, but that's the top five things that you can do every day during this flu season. And I recommend during life in general all the time to really keep away the flu. And uh, there's a lot of virulent flu strains going on right now, and we really need to keep this from happening to you. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I have lots of people. I have lots of people with stress. I have to say about half my people are it's some kind of stress-induced process right now, and we really need to get that under control. And I have special ways of getting that under control so that you have, live a happy life. 831-869-9119. Also, remember God, remember I love you. And if you ever have talked about uh, kinesiology, you put your arm out and have somebody push down, Say the word love, and all of a sudden you will you get very strong. Say the word hate, and all of a sudden you get weak. It is very powerful. It's an innate process built into us. Keep love in your life at all times.